Attach the one and quarter inch plugs to the outer brackets with a bolt, fender washer, and nut. Tighten the plugs just enough so they can still be turned. Attach the one and a quarter inch plugs to the inner brackets with a bolt, fender washer, and nut. Mark the center point between the rear cross members on the right side. Mark the center point between the rear cross members on the left side. Use a ruler and make sure the lines are in the exact center and aligned with each other. Insert the brackets part way into the T's. Rotate the plugs until the axle hole is centered with the mark on the frame. After centered, remove the inner bracket and tighten the plug. Make sure the inner bracket is level. Mark the location for the quarter inch hole. Drill a quarter inch hole completely through the metal pipe and frame. Insert a bolt through the frame. Secure the bolt with a washer and nylon lock nut. Tighten the nylon nut to secure the inner bracket to the frame. Insert the rear wheel into the inner bracket axle hole. Install the outer bracket Place the wheel into the axle hole and plugs into the T's at the same time. Make sure you have the bracket installed with the brake installation holes towards the front. Secure the wheel with the axle nuts. Install the left side inner bracket.
Make sure the bracket is level. Mark the location for the quarter inch hole. Drill a quarter inch hole completely through the metal pipe and frame. Insert a bolt through the frame. Secure the bolt with a washer and nylon lock nut. Tighten the nylon nut to secure the inner bracket to the frame. Install the derailleur using a small bolt and nylon nut. Do not tighten the nut at this time. Install the wheel. Make sure the derailleur is slotted over the axle. Install the outer bracket. Place the wheel into the axle hole and plugs into the T's at the same time. Make sure you have the bracket installed with the brake installation holes towards the front. Make sure the plugs are seated properly. Install the outside axle nut and tighten securely. Make sure the derailleur is seated properly, then tighten the nut. Install the inside axle nut and tighten securely. Be sure to watch part 12. I will install the front wheels and brackets. Thanks for watching.